What's going on guys, Austin Zay back here, and we are headed to Nicaragua, tippy top of Nicaragua, Managua, Nicaragua. I'm standing here in my bedroom right now. I'm wearing my Nicaragua shirt. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you guys see this? Hold on, let's see if you guys can see this. Check out that. Pretty gangster shirt. So, we're headed to tippy top of Nicaragua, and I'm packing right now. We're gonna pack some stuff up, and then uh, we are going to rock and roll. I just got in from California last night, so super, super tired. Uh, but you know packing and that uh, we're gonna get on the road and I'm gonna document as much of this as I possibly can uh, got a Laptop protein cookies, and we are ready to rock and roll. I hope you guys enjoy the journey This is one of the coolest journeys that I've ever done. I did it last year. I'm gonna do it again Let's freaking go, baby Hey, we'll see you guys on the other side. How about that? Here in the airport, and uh, that's my team behind me. My whole team. Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? There's 28 of us. So we're going to Tippy Top of Nicaragua, and we're here at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Uh, <coughs> next stop, Houston, Texas, and the next stop, Managua. Uh, wish us luck, and uh, we'll see you in the next airport. What's going on YouTube family? Austin Zay back here with another YouTube video and I got like three special announcements for you so you are not gonna wanna miss this video. Number one, I'm in Nicaragua. As you can see behind me, I'm in the city. Look at this, check this out. Look at this, how fast can we do 360? Look at that car, freaking gangster. Okay, so I'm in Nicaragua, I'm in the city right now. It's actually the nice part of Nicaragua by the way. Um, this is not the villages, I'm gonna show you the villages here in a second. That's really cool, it's really fun, it's really exciting. I've been here for like a week and we're gonna talk a bunch and it's gonna be great. You're gonna learn a ton, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Stay to the end of the video. I got some special announcements for you. And then also, uh, one more special announcement that you are not gonna wanna miss is that I am about to dominate, okay? When I come home, now let me explain to you what I mean. When I come home, we're about to take YouTube to the next level. Like we are going to the stratosphere with this, okay? So understand that, I got some extremely big plans like Logan and Jake Paul on an entrepreneur level where we just dominate the world, okay? Literally dominate the world. So stay tuned. 
Um, I'm freaking fired up. I'm excited. So we'll see you guys obviously when I get back home when I do the next video. And I apologize that I haven't uploaded in a week. Wi-Fi has been terrible down here. Um, the whole thing's been bad. So uh, this, this video should be up by Sunday. Okay, Sunday is gonna mark the day. Monday, everything starts, everything begins. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be insane. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Standing here in Nicaragua, and I'm actually not in, um, I'm, not, I'm not over where the villages are right now, so you probably saw a bunch of footage where, uh, where, where the villages are, okay, and where those villages are, are obviously where we're building the houses, and that's super fun, that's super exciting, um, but I'm actually here staying at my hostel right now, so as you can see behind me, I'll kind of give you a little 360 here. Okay, so as you can see behind me, you know, I'm staying here where my hostel's at, and uh, you know, really, really interesting stuff, right? Um, you know, it, it's interesting to see. And I wanted to make this video, and and if you're watching this video, stay on here. You know, stay till the end because you know, I think this video is really crucial. You know, uh, I did a quote on Instagram, and I said, you know, giving um, liberates the soul of the giver, right? And it doesn't matter what you're giving, by the way. It doesn't matter whether you're giving financially, uh, maybe you're giving spiritually, or maybe you're giving you know mentally okay physically emotionally you know a lot of times um, giving is just a giving of your time you know giving of your time and your energy to somebody uh, that needs it right that's in need of it uh, first of all i'm really tired right now i just woke up it's like six o'clock in the morning here uh, but i wanted to get this video out uh, i wanted to get this video up for you guys so i uh, hope you guys enjoy um you know what's interesting right is, is you come down here and if you're the brokest person in the united states okay like literally you have nothing okay nothing at all you're broke you're you're homeless you're completely broke in the united states you're in the top one percent of the world okay the top one percent of the world i'm going to say that again so if you're broke in the united states like literally broke you're homeless you have nothing okay you're in the top one percent of the world and I'm sure you can see that as you kind of see what's going on behind me. And I'm sure you can also see that as you see, you know, what's going on um, in, in the world and in the villages around me, right? So definitely just keep that in mind, you know, and, and, and just understand that, like, why are you so depressed, right? You know, you tell me, you know, why are you so depressed? You know, why, why are you getting so anxious that you aren't where you want to be? You know, why are you getting so mad at yourself that you're not uh, reaching your full potential, right? Or you're not there yet. You know, a lot of you guys that message me, you're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, and you're like, man, I haven't achieved anything. And I'm like, man, I'm like, you haven't, you haven't, <laughs> you haven't failed. You have, you haven't been there. Like, yeah, you might have failed at one or two or three or five things, but what you have to understand is I've failed at literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Like, I've failed at more things than most of you guys watching, most of you watching, have ever even tried or have ever even attempted. So, you know, take a step back and realize that, you know, it's one thing to know what's going on in the world, okay, like, like this, where I'm at, right, in Nicaragua, you know, I'm in Tippy Tapa, right, in, in the villages, and, um, you know, they don't, they don't know when they're gonna eat next. Like, they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. They're sleeping on dirt floors. They have holes in their roofs, okay? There's water coming in. Um, it's bad, right? It's really, really bad. The, the, the interesting thing is, is they're the happiest people that I've ever met in, in my entire life, okay? Number one, this is my second time here. Um, they're the happiest people I've ever met in my entire life. The kids, the families, everybody, right? They, they, just, they just trust, they have faith, right? They, they believe. And, uh, and ultimately, they're just happy people, right? Because they, they don't know any better. You know, they don't know any better, which leads me into the ending part of this video. And the ending part of this video is that the problem is, I, I don't think the problem is that you don't have enough. The problem isn't that, um, you know, that you, you don't have whatever, right? You, you know, whatever that is for you, by the way, whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, it's coming with different no matter what. The problem is, is now you have something to compare it to. Right, and, and what you have to compare it to is social media, okay? And, and more specifically, is other people's lives on social media that you're striving to be like, right? And it's real, it's visual, you can see it, okay? You can look at it, you can, you can zoom in on it, right? And that's the problem, right? So these people have nothing to compare it to, and therefore they're the happiest people on the planet. 
And it's funny, me and my buddy were talking about it, or me and some of the guys here were talking about it yesterday. The mortality rate, okay, in Nicaragua is the same as it is in the United States, right? So, or maybe within a couple of years, right? So don't quote me on that, but it's 75 years, okay? 75 years is the mortality rate. And, you know, it's interesting, so I was standing on top of a dump, um, literally like on top of a dump where you drive up this mountain and you go to the top of this dump and, and at the top of the dump we're standing there and this guy's got his he's got a church up there on, on the top of the dump and um, you know it's just a building I mean you know there's nothing there's nothing to it right so we're standing on top of the dump and he and, and I'm like well what, how do you get water and he's like well you know you can't you can't drill from the top of, of the of the dump or the top of the hill cause that, that doesn't work he's like so you got to go to the bottom of the hill about a mile down and um, you know when you go to the bottom of the hill then you you can drill but you drill through trash and you know you drill through trash and drill through trash and then all of a sudden you get to a point where you hit water and then you hit water and the water is, is bad it's not good water right it's 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 unclean water yet the mortality rate is still 75 right so you tell me it's one of two things it's number one they're happy right okay they're just happy people okay they're happy they're not stressed out about oh my gosh when, when's the next time i'm gonna die you know um they're just not stressed now they have different stresses in their life right they, of course just like anybody just like any human but they're not like in this american culture of go 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 all the freaking time right so it's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is, is their bodies are just used to. So we come, we come here, feel bad for them. Like, oh my gosh, you know, for ten bucks we can make you a, 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 a you know, a water filtration system. And there's five thousand of you. Do the math. Five thousand times ten. Like, let's do it. Let's make it happen, right? Um, but that's not the point. The point is, is that they're 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 good. They're they're in that in that aspect, like they're good, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, we I was talking to one of my buddies about it. It's like if they drink our water, they would probably get sick because they're just not used to it, right? So uh, definitely something to keep in mind, something to, to just consciously think about, you know. But kind of finishing this off is is don't compare yourself to other people, right? It's so easy to to scroll on Instagram for hours at a time and watch story after story after story and be like, man, like. That guy's traveling the world, this guy's traveling the world, that guy's got a Lambo, this girl's got this, that girl's got that, this girl's got, you know, fake whatever, fake this, fake that. And the problem with that is, is that, you know, there will always be somebody that has a nicer car than you. There's always going to be somebody that has a bigger house than you. There's always going to be somebody that has more money than you. There will always be somebody that's better looking than you. There's always going to be somebody. I don't care how good you have it. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how nice of a car you have. I don't care how fake of whatever you have, okay? There will always be somebody that has it nicer than you. And if you get into this mode where you feel whether it be subconscious or, or conscious, that you have to have the best, okay, because that's really what, it, what it's all about, right? You gotta be great, okay? It's your ego is what it really is. Then ultimately, you're gonna lose in life, right? You're gonna lose, okay? You're never going to make it because you're gonna beat yourself up so much to the point where even if you do achieve some sort of, some, some level of success, it's, it's never gonna fulfill you. It's never gonna, you're never gonna live an abundant and prosperous, prosperous life, right? You're never gonna be able to give abundantly, okay? You're never gonna be able to do anything like that. So what you have to understand is that at some point, you have to say, okay, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I want more, okay? I always want more, I'm striving for more out of life, but I'm content, right? I'm happy with what I have, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, I'm grateful for what I have. And yeah, I'm gonna go strive for more. Yeah, I'm gonna go, you know, uh, attack my goals and dreams beyond my wildest imagination. Of course, that's great. But don't let that be the definition of happiness for you. Because if that's the definition of happiness, if the pursuit is the definition of happiness, then you're never gonna be there, right? Because you're always gonna be in pursuit, okay? Whether that be physically, financially, spiritually, or emotionally, you'll never be there. You'll just never be there. It's just not gonna happen, right? You'll be like, man, I wanna make, a hundred grand. You get to a hundred grand, it's like I want to make two hundred grand. Two hundred grand, three hundred grand, three hundred grand, four hundred grand. I want fake whatever, and then you get at me like I wish I'd have gone bigger. I wish I'd have gone smaller. Um, you know, whatever it is, guys. Whatever it is. Whatever. Whatever. I promise you, whatever it is, you'll never, you'll never be happy if you're in comparison. If you're always in comparison to somebody else's life, live your life. Stay in your lane. If it's bothering you that bad, then get off social. 
Like, stop watching the stories, stop scrolling, okay, go on there to post your picture, and that's it, that's all I do. I don't go on there and scroll through other people's Instagrams, okay, I don't care how other people are living their life. I care, but I don't care to that aspect, right? I don't care, like, I'm gonna relate my life to theirs. I just don't care, it just doesn't bother me, like, right? So I'm able to look at it, um, or whatever. So just understand that, okay? And then I'm gonna read you one last final quote. Okay, so only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile, right? So just understand that, that only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. So if you're struggling, if you're stagnant in your life right now, if you're at a place where, you know, maybe, um, you know, a lot of what was just, I just talked about is going on, is going on in your life, why don't you take a step back and give? Why don't you be selfless instead of selfish? You know, sometimes in the beginning you have to be selfish so you can eventually be selfless. I'm all for that. But if, if it's bothering you, like at a core level, you need to take a step back and you need to say, okay, you know, maybe I can go be selfless instead of selfish. So, I love you guys. Um, I'll, I'm gonna walk around with you guys really quick. Okay, that was my message for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm super tired. I just drank a cup of coffee. People are banging, people are clanging. Uh, we got bikes, we got we got everything going on out here. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, also, I apologize that I didn't do a, a video, you know, again, um, two or three videos this week, but uh, it just didn't end up working out with my schedule, the Wi-Fi down here, even I have international service because I was trying to still do business, but um, I just wasn't able to, I just wasn't able to, to upload anything because the international service is really, really bad. So um, I apologize. Look at this right here. That's how you get around down here. Uh, that, that, that's like you're rolling in style down here, right? You're, you're rolling in style when you got one of those motorbikes. So, um, again, we're in town right now. This is like the nice part of, uh, of Nicaragua. So, uh, keep that in mind. But I uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop in the comments below what you'd like to see next. I uh, love all you guys. I appreciate all you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, what the heck, man? <laughs> Go hit that subscribe button.